Good morning to you, Jacob. Yeah, we do have a little bit of an update for you here with what exactly happened here in court earlier this morning. And so 33-year-old Patrick Xavier Clark uh, made his second appearance in court. He was in the 232nd, and obviously he's still in custody after a judge set his bond at $2 million in a, during his probable cause hearing back on Friday. And so today's appearance, again, pretty quick. He's being represented by two attorneys, and you'll hear from them in just a moment. But there were two major things that were discussed this morning. The first was to remove two names from Clark's bond conditions, people that he is not allowed to contact if he should post bond. This was all listed in that court paperwork. Well, we've confirmed that one of the names at issue here is Jay Prince Jr. and also listed any members of that family or household. And so we did reach out to the family's attorney, Kent Schaefer, who tells ABC 13, quote, there was no reason to put Mr. Prince's family's name in the bond conditions. The state agreed and it will be removed. And so ABC 13 did confirm the night takeoff was shot. A party for Jay Prince Jr. was happening at that bowling alley. And so also discussed was Clark's $2 million bond. His attorneys have requested for a bond reduction hearing in just a few days. And Clark's defense attorneys did speak out after this hearing concluded. And I asked specifically about the allegations coming from HPD that Clark had obtained a passport and tickets to Mexico shortly before being arrested. Investigators say that he had a passport and supposedly had bought tickets to go to Mexico. Any comment on that? Yeah, that's, that it is that. That's true. However, there's other circumstances surrounding that. That was something that was already pre-planned and it was counseled before he was arrested. So I think that's important. He wasn't trying to go anywhere. All right, so you just heard there uh, Clark's defense attorney saying that trip was canceled before any of the arrests happened. And so right now we are hearing that the bond reduction hearing will be set for some time on Wednesday. They're still working those logistics out. So, of course, once we know more, we will bring it to you right here on ABC 13. But for now, we're live from downtown Houston. Charlie City, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. The case followed so closely here and around the country and for some around the world. Charlie, thank you so much.